Creator Cuber here. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to become color neutral on the Rubik's Cube. Really quick before we start the video, I just want to say, quickly hit that subscribe button and comment down below saying that you subscribe, and I'll try to respond to as many of you as I can. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to be talking about color neutrality is what order you should learn each of the different centers in. Basically, let's say you learned white first, this could vary. The next one you want to learn is the opposite, so in this case yellow, if you learn green, it could be blue or whatever. Then just choose one of the remaining four centers, so let's say red. Then you want to choose the opposite of that one, then choose one of the remaining two, and finally learn the last one. And the opposite ones should come pretty naturally, it's the first ones that are hard. But yes, yeah, so basically the method that I am showing you right now, the method that is basically what you want to do is just do an average of 100 on whatever cross color. So later in this video, I'm going to be doing an average of 50 on red, to show how I can improve over 50 solves. It will take over 50, but that just shows that it works. So yeah, let me show you the proof that it works. And how that's going to work is I'm going to be doing a one solve on white cross. I don't white and yellow cross. I don't know any of the other ones. So I'm doing one solve on white cross and then one solve on red cross for comparison. And then I'm going to be doing an average of 50 and showing you how I improve. So yeah, get into it. Okay guys, really quick before we continue the video, um, this, this episode's shoutout winner is Caden YT. he's been joining me in some of the premieres for these videos, so yeah, go check out his channel. Um, if you want to win a shoutout, just watch till the end of the video, and I'll show you how you can do one, to, how you can get one just like this, okay? Be sure to subscribe to him, and now let's continue with the video. Okay guys, so right now I'm going to be doing a white cross solve to show you that this myth. Uh, how fast I am at white cross. So just a quick solve. Just nothing new. Um, I'll try to commentate during it. That way it's not too boring. So basically, we just gotta do cross. Then find our first F12 pair. Um, but yeah, so basically with white cross, I average about 16 seconds. And um, actually, this is gonna be a pretty good solve. So as you can see right there, we got a 14.7. To eight, um, so fourteen is a bit too good, is a bit good for me. But I average around sixteen, so that's the metric we'll be going off of. Now I'm going to do a red cross solve to show you. Um, okay, so basically right now I'm going to be doing a red cross solve to prove to you that I can, that I'm not just as fast with red cross, and that I'm not just trolling you right now. So let me quickly put in my time. So now we're going to do a red cross solve, and for this solve, I'm not sure how it's going to go, because I'm not good at red cross. So, yeah. Yeah, and if it helps while you're doing this, just try speaking to yourself, like during F2L well and stuff, to like rem remind yourself of the colors. So like blue and white. And then red, 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 red. Where's the last red? There's red. Green and yellow. And that solve was at 27.404. So as you can see, I am not good at red cross at all. So now I'm going to get into a time lapse of me doing an average of 50 using nothing but red cross. And we'll see how I improve throughout the average. Okay guys, so as you might be able to see, throughout the entire average of 50, um, my best single was a 16.48, and my best average of 5 was a 20.18, but, and I started at a 27, and now I average about 21 with Red Cross. So if you just do about an average of 100, maybe 100, like 120 solves, you should be fine. And that number varies depending on your time level. The slower you are, I believe the less solves it should take you because you're less used to the cube already, so you you don't have too far to go with Red Cross, or with whatever cross. Be sure to check out this video, right here, on where I try to play a game of Among Us, and whichever color gets voted out or killed, I have to solve on that cross color. So yeah guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time. Bye!